Dan Jabalisco here to show you the anatomy of a basic gallium arsenide laser diode. Uh, the laser diode is similar to an ordinary light emitting or infrared emitting diode except that if you provide a sufficient bias to the device it stops emitting ordinary light and suddenly breaks into lasing action which is the production of coherent light caused by a chain reaction within the atoms of the semiconductor material. The details of how this works can be found by looking in my book Teach Yourself Electricity and Electronics. I think uh, just about any recent edition will do as long as it has a chapter on lasers. A typical laser diode does not produce the type of burning ray that uh, can knock aircraft out of the sky or blow up ships on, on the ocean, although such lasers are under development by the military. This is simply used f primarily for communications purposes in fiber optic systems because the gallium arsenide has such a high reaction time that it's possible to modulate the beam at a fairly high frequency and get a lot of signals onto a single coherent radiation beam from a very simple device uh, that has semiconductor material and type uh, surrounded by p-type material and also reflecting mirrors to create resonance within the device which will ultimately produce the coherent radiation. Coherent radiation in case you didn't know means that not, our, not only are all of the waves of light or infrared in phase with each other but they reinforce each other in such a way as to give rise to an extraordinarily narrow banded intense beam of light. You can learn more about all of this by reading the chapter on lasers in my book Teach Yourself Electricity and Electronics. Either the, well, any recent edition should do. Stan Jabalisco signing off for now. Until next time, so long.